Thank you kindly. Thank you, thank you. All right. See if I can get a buzz. Oh. Okay, we're in the right place. All right. Sorry, Lanny. Lanny just went through the wall, I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, I, I got to say that I had the distinct pleasure of spending a little bit of time with Mother Maybelle Carter in Nashville before she passed away. As it turned out, where the side of town that I was living in over on the east side in, in uh, a little, little area called Englewood, between East Nashville and Madison, Maybell lived as well and had a wonderful old house there. And through uh, a fellow conspirator at the time, he's behaving himself now, but Marty Stewart, um, we went over to Maybell's a couple times, and, and I was honored to be in her presence, obviously, as the grand dame of the auto harp, and of course, her family being the, the uh, first family of country music, without a doubt. Uh, it was a treat, and it got me thinking about the auto harp, and I went to uh, back over to Norfolk, Virginia for a while and ran into a good buddy, Brian Bowers, and he had just started playing the auto harp. And so anyway, one thing leads to another. I uh, thought I'd try to figure out a little something on it. Got two or three tunes that I can do, and, and uh, I just love it. And one of these picks somewhere, I'm not sure if I'm wearing it, is Maybell's in it. Uh, it's a treasure for sure. And uh, she passed away, and then a few years later, we ended up in the studio in Nashville for a project for Cowboy Jack Clement. And it was all the daughters. It was June and Helen and Anita Carter. And we got to sit around and pick auto harps, just us with cameras rolling and the whole thing. Back then, I think they were the big old Hitachi 500-pound cameras, whatever. But it was, by God, it was cool. And... Uh, Anyway, I've got fond memories anyway, and I hope it comes across in, in, uh, when I play this thing, because I, I, I really cherish it, and uh, it's a, kind of a personal instrument. And nobody can really get the sound uh, that the player gets by putting their ear bone on the thing, kind of like a tuning fork on a grand piano. It just, But we'll try our best. It's called uh, Maybell's Dance. This is on the uh, Made of Sand CD. Is it, or no, it's on the Shine On, sorry.
God bless you. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. I was lying about the rum. I told you I covered some people's songs, and this was uh, Fred Neal was not a friend. I, I didn't meet him. I was still in the Navy also, and it was down at the Flick in Miami. It was a wonderful little club at the time. <laughs> Fred had written, everybody's talking at me. I can't hear a word they're saying. Only the echoes of my mind. Well, I don't know that one. I do, but I'm, I, that's not what I was going to do. This is another one of his songs. He was one. Uh, he was on the original board of directors of the Dolphin Project down in Big Pine Key back in the '60s, and they would uh, they were doing research and and uh, rescuing anything to do with dolphins was being done at the Dolphin Project. And Fred got attached to, or just had a buddy, a dolphin. Buddy the Dolphin. And when Buddy was freed, or actually every dolphin there was allowed to come and go as they pleased as far as going out in the wild, they would come back every day, and that's the truth, unless they were in uh, some sort of medical confinement. Anyway, his little friend apparently disappeared. Fred wrote this song. this world
sometimes you know I think about Saturday's child and all about the time. Sometimes I wonder You ever think of me? favorite songs in the world. traveling to the North Country Fair, the winds hit heavy on the borderline, remember me to the one who lives there, she once was times I 
I've often prayed in the darkness of my nights, in the brightness of my day. To the North Country Fair Where the wind sit heavy, heavy On the borderline Remember me To the one who lives there Cause she once was Folks, thank you very much. What a treat. All right, let's see here. Are we good? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much for being here tonight for my part of this wonderful day. Thank you, Jack, and the entire crew. His names are going to have to escape me right now. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. Wet skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I dreamed I held you in my arms. When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken, so I held my head and I cried. Sing it with me, folks. For my sunshine, my only sunshine, you make me happy. What skies are gray? You'll never know how much I love you. Don't take my sunshine away. You are my sunshine. Ooh, my only sunshine. You make me happy. When skies are gray, you'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take 
my sunshine away. Thank you all very, very much. Had a great time. Let's carry on. Thanks, you guys. I hope you all are sitting with the right people because you're on television. Damn, you're going to get yourself in trouble. I should have made that announcement before this thing was over. There were 200 auto heart players, and 40 of them were amazing. I mean, amazing. It was really interesting. A lot of older folks, I must admit, but I mean, it's still, the instrument is so cool for kids and for well, older folks. Anybody that wants to play an instrument and get something out of it pretty quick. You can play a song, you can accompany yourself in 10 minutes, really. The first auto harp I saw was in music class in third grade. Absolutely, you know, mine was second, a, I think. Yeah, you know, yep, and that was Old the, black Oscar Schmidt. I never thought about it. You know, you never think think about it. And then one day you see somebody like Mother Maybell play the thing, and mm -hmm. you go, wait a second, mm -hmm. that's real music. Yep, yep. So, well, it's history. It's history. It's well, cool, man. Well, we love having you. Thanks, yeah, man. I enjoyed it. We're going to we're we're work this up and get it on TV. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, and, I can't uh, wait to we'll see get the it. Hopefully product. by then it'll be on TV over there, too. you got right? plenty to edit now. No, that's all right. Do some no. major editing. Maybe we'll maybe we'll go straight past PBS on this one and just put it on international film or something. Absolutely. Since it's us.